Hi, welcome to Kairos House. Today we're going to be looking at the Jaguar Pro internal routing tool. Okay, let's get into it. Um, I bought this, as you know, I'm building a new bike soon. Um, I wanted something a bit easier to help me thread my internal cables. Not that I found it a problem last time. Um, just I thought this would help a little bit. So uh, what does it do? Well, it's got magnets on the end and different fittings. So we've got adapters for E-tubes, um, housing and hydraulic hoses. We've got a flexible magnet. We've got a huge magnet on the end. Um, this is where all the adapters are stored. I saw this um, on bike24.com. I thought I'd buy it. Um, it cost me 21 euros 84. So if we just open this up, oh, that's tight. Give it a pull out. Uh, that is the unit, which is pretty cool. Um, and there's some instructions in the bottom. Lots of instructions, how to use it. Um, but we're just going to open it up because men don't read instructions. Pah! Pah! Instructions. So, um, looking at it, uh, we've got a magnet on the end. We've got a magnet in there. Let's slide this little thing and this comes out. A little bendable, like a... So that can go back in there. Um, oh, this bit comes off. That bit comes out. We've got a little, um, I see the arrows go together, so you can't muck it up, he says, not being able to put it back on. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so that just slides on. Nice. And what's in this little compartment? Well, okay, so the top unscrews and inside is all your little bits. So let's take them out carefully, he says. Yep, nothing else in there. So looking at it, we've got a wire with a screw thread on the end. We've got a metal bit, which is a magnet. That's actually quite powerful, to be fair. Look at it. Wow. Wow, hey, that's a good magnet. Look at that. I'm impressed. Um, we've also got uh, a little screw, a tapered screw thing. And we've got, um, that's the adapter for the DI2, I'm assuming. So let's um, put this together. So inside these, there's a screw thread. I'm wondering if that screws on there, it does. Okay, right, I'm getting it now. So let me just bring in uh, some hydraulic hose because this is the screw thread that screws inside the hydraulic hose. So, okay, so you screw that in there. Yeah, okay, so you'll feed that inside your frame and then using this. Using this one, you'll pull it through your frame. Yeah. On the inside of your frame, you'll pull it along. Yeah. There's not going to be much um, restriction there because the tubes are massive. And then when you get to the end, turn it round, push out the little proboscis, stick that bit in, and then pull, pull that out of your frame. It's going to be pretty cool. I like it. I like it already. And the same with the DI2 um, connector. I don't have a DI2 cable with me, um, but you can screw that on. Click in your DI2 cable there. Feed it into your bike. Use the magnet on the outside. Drag it through your frame. 
zoop, reach in, pull it out with this one. And that is going to, um, yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. That'll make it a lot quicker. As I said, it wasn't really a problem um, the last time I did it. I found feeding cables actually quite easy. I just got um, a cable fisher tool um, and just use that. But uh, this is like a, a, a cust well, not a custom, but it's uh, purposely designed for cable feeding. I'm just going to put these bits back in and there they go. Let's put the lid on. It looks as though it doesn't want to fit, but it uh, squashes down into there nicely. The lid comes off of there. Uh, let's just make sure I get it the right way around. Yeah, that can go in there. And then push the end on. Perfect, look. So that's like almost like a little pen. It's about as big as a pen. Um, that you'll see me use when I build the bike, but I just wanted a quick look just to show you what it had on it. Um, as I said, 2184, that's from Germany, bike24.com. Um, it was here very quickly. That's going to be great. So as usual, we'll just weigh everything. I'll just push that further out. So uh, let's switch it on. I'm looking forward to that. Getting all the parts uh, for my bike ready. Uh, so I can start building it. Okay, so that's actually stuck to the... Okay, let me just check that zeroed. It is zeroed. That is 38 grams, just uh, in case you will know. It's changed to 39, 38, 39, 38. It can't really decide how heavy it is. It's 38 or 39. Um, so that is a quick look around the Pro internal routing tool. Um, as you can see, it's got an extendable flexible magnet, yeah. All these adapters, that is going to make threading it much easier. Much, much easier. I'm looking forward to that. So, um, actually, let's just quickly go through these because there's some interesting uh, stuff here on the Pro internal routing tool. So, get the pen. Number two, the flexible magnet is used to retrieve magnetic items from within the frame. Excellent. Crinkle, crinkle. And it shows you how to uh, do stuff. Also, um, there's a list of equipment here. Oh, okay, that's what we've got. Move cap. You can thread steel in a cable as well. And it shows you how to do it. Routing hydraulic hose. So you screw in the hose like we did. Yeah. Thread the fitting. Insert the thread end of the wire. Yeah. Chuck it in the bike. Fish it out with the proboscis. Pull it through. Wonderful. So you can thread. A hydraulic hose, cable housing. Oh, you can pull through cable housing as well. Nice. And it shows you how to do it. Routing cable housing and routing steel in the cable. So there's a lot of different ways and things you can do with it, which is actually really cool. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you for more videos on the next Kairos house. Take care. Bye.